Today I'm here with my friend Susie Walcott and we're at Susie's house. She's got a great view and we're talking about Susie's work. I am Susie Walcott and I was asked to demonstrate how I cut up garments for incorporating the fabric into quilting. Somebody asked me if you needed to let seams out and so on. No, I would not never do that. I've learned to cut off the sleeve first. Of course, you can do it however you want, but this is mainly to demonstrate don't be afraid of doing anything. I find the cuffs, um, I haven't been able to incorporate the cuffs very much, so I just cut them off. You could keep it and see if you could use it later. And, and the same with this, you may want to incorporate that. So rather than cutting up through the, the, the seam underneath your sleeve, um, I like to, to just cut clear through. The way I do it, and of course you can do it however you want, I like to incorporate, like this is a flat felt seam. So if I was using a piece of the fabric, I think that being in the strip makes it more interesting than if it isn't. Or I may incorporate this placket also. I have not figured out a way to incorporate the top of a sleeve. And especially on coats, uh, they are very curved. Another part that I find difficult to incorporate is the collar. So I cut it right off. And I would keep, uh, for my style, I try to keep as many tags as I can because I would probably have this as a strip and include that tag. Then for the front, um, just cut the front away from the back. And I would probably cut this one like this. And then as you can see, you could use the front of this to cut into straight strips if you wanted to, or anything else. Um, I learned from this wonderful woman named Carol Lee Pollock to just use my scissors to cut things up because it makes my seam lines more interesting. Some people would rather not have them be that interesting, but that's what I like. And I find plackets, this is a placket in the front of the shirt, are easily incorporated and I think they're interesting. Sometimes I will button them up to the opposite side, for example, here, but I can use them together. The next part, of course, for most shirts are the yoke, and that can be cut off. Again, I would cut it off down here so I could use this flat felt seam. The back is, of course, where you get the biggest pieces. I've learned that I like to start out using the biggest pieces in traditional ways, and then as I get into the um, garment, start incorporating plackets and collars and, and uh, parts that I, I think it's funny. I like humor and I think it's funny for someone to go, oh look, there's, that's the front of a shirt. What are the garments you use the most? I actually have used a lot of coats and I didn't demonstrate a coat because I don't have one. Like blazers or like winter coats? Both. And they come with a lining. And you don't have to be afraid of just picking up that lining and just start cutting, cutting it out. It's also, if you haven't done garment sewing in the, you know, most people under a certain age haven't, um, you start discovering how things are made uh, in really tailored jackets and so on. All of the interfacings and so on that go on in the inside. It's kind of interesting and I suppose you can incorporate them too. I've learned to throw most of that away. Now for example on a pair of pants you're gonna have a zipper. I have not figured out a way to use that. I have figured out ways to use the waistbands though. I, I think you can make all those decisions on your own. The main idea here is to just see how casual I am about cutting it up. See, that could be incorporated in something across the top, or it could be used to hang with, or... Uh, the other thing with pants, again, I like these interesting seams, so I will cut down the middle. Both sides, I would do that. Uh, you could 
if you thought, oh gosh, what I want to do on this one, this of course is a pair of shorts instead of pants, is you could just make this be a solid piece and include the um, pocket. But on jeans or pants like things, I think lots of times it works better for me to just cut the top part of your pant off from the leg. But see, this has all kinds of interesting stuff in it that can be incorporated. If someone could go, oh look, there's a button. Oh look, there's a pocket. So that's how I cut up garments. Thank you.